Today in the studio, I'm working on a cutting board for my daughter who is a chef. This won't be a food grade. This will be decoration. And it's for her farmer's market booth, and then she'll put it in her house, I'm pretty sure. So I'm just gonna spray paint it black here, out in my backyard. <laughs> and then we're going to put on, uh, we're gonna use this decal that a friend made for me. Uh, save a farmer buy local. It'll be in her booth at the farmer's market and Then we're gonna paint daisy or sunflowers across the top and I had a friend who actually a student who recommended that I bring some across from the back and I think that'll be fun to bring it through that handle and have the flowers looking down as well as looking forward so today we're going to be using cadmium uh, yellow medium, yellow ochre, burnt sienna, and sap green. And over here on the right hand side of my uh, disposable palette is white. I'm going to be using some synthetic brushes. The first brush is my rosemary brush and it gives just the best thinnest lines. I love it. I love the feel of it. And um, the next other brushes that I have are all synthetics. And um, the big brown one was a gift from one of my students. And it moves so smooth in the paint. It is a um, master painter. And then these other two are Royal Langnickel, which I love, but I don't love the fact that they have short handles. I really like long handled brushes and I've ordered some and they've arrived and I'm going to show you those later. So today we're just going to start on the back of the cutting board first and we're going to put those stems and those leaves uh, on there. I'm just going to put a couple of stems, going to go all the way to the top. Uh, just two of them and it needs to go through the handle and then over the handle. One will go through and one will go over. So this one here is going to go over. I think this was a really good idea. One of my students suggested when I told them what I was going to be doing. She's a student in the Beginners Painting Club, which is a monthly membership. And so I showed them what we, I was going to be working on, and she recommended that. Okay, I didn't like that little brush, so I got out my big gun. <laughs> and I've got that yellow in the center, and I'm holding it, keeping it in the center. I like that. But on the next one, we're going to go in the other direction. We're going to put the yellow on the outside. So you, we've got the stem here. So now we're going to make two little lines to give me an idea of where to start. Now notice I flip that brush so I keep the yellow on the outside of that leaf. And I'm just wiggling that around there to make some little, um, to make it look like um, it's got some, some life to it. So we're going to dry it off it's, and then we're going to start on this side. Now here I'm going to give myself a little bit of a, uh, and, the, and where the stem will come over the edges there. I'm just letting myself know where they are so I don't goof it up as I put in other stems. So here just goes a bunch of different stems. Um, there'll be many, short, tall, long, skinny, um, all different sorts, sizes. They need to cross each other. You don't want them lined up like a bunch of little soldiers. And so, you know, you put them this way, that way, some are lighter. This gives your painting depth. This is exactly how I would do it in a painting. I just happen to be working on a project today. So the more values that you give it, the deeper uh, it will look. If it were all one shade of green, it would, it would be very flat. Uh, so here I'm using the um, small Royal Langnickel for the, um, the petals and I'm work, I work from the inside out, but you could easily go from the outside in. You will get a different petal look, but it still will work. Okay, so I'm going to dry this off and then we're going to move ahead and paint some more green stuff. <laughs> I'm adding some more stems. I, I really like it to have a deep look 
And now I'm adding a little bit of grass at the bottom to kind of um, seed it. Here comes some leaves. They are very similar to the petals in that you touch, you push, you turn, you pick up. And you get up on that point edge when you pick up. If you just stop it, you're going to get a square looking leaf. And that probably isn't what you're looking for. So now we're going to put some leaves on the top of these petals coming down uh, on those two flowers. We put several layers and on this particular one, there'll be some going back and some coming forward. This one just has them coming forward. We're going to go ahead and put the decal on. This was made for me several years ago, so I wasn't sure if it was still going to work, but there it is. It's doing its job. <laughs> so I'm real happy with how it turned out. I wanted it in front of all the green. I could paint some greens over top of it, but I'm not sure that I will. We're going to go ahead and add another layer of petals. Uh, this is a deeper color. Again, they cannot be the same color. They have to have that variation in order to create the depth that you're looking for. If they were the same color as the first layer, they would be very flat and like a blob almost. So this one here is going to have a little seedling part at the top. Uh, the other two will have uh, it going in the center long ways. It looks like I'm leaving something out there, but we're going to come back and put them in later, those front petals. I'm going to add a few more little layers in here in these back ones. And again, it's acrylic paint, so you can paint over um, several times. It, <laughs> that's the, one of the great things about acrylic paint, I think, is that it's so versatile and um, it's really great for beginners. I reckon uh, that's what I paint in and my uh, membership site, uh, the Beginners Painting Club, that's what we work in. We're going to start putting the centers in here and it's kind of a twofold kind of a thing. Uh, I've got the um, burnt sienna there. I'm going to add some yellow to one corner and right there. <laughs> and you want to maybe load it two or three times to get it all the way in there. There you go. Okay, so we're going to start with uh, this one here, and it's going to, the yellow's going to go on the top, and we're going to just kind of pounce it in there. We're just bouncing up and down, basically. We want the dark on the bottom and then the yellow. Now I'm taking that yellow side, I'm going to add some more, and we're going to come back around, and you're, it's going to, it's looking a little weird here, but it'll get normal here in a minute. <laughs> Now I'm going to pick up that sienna and I'm going to come back and add the shadow to the bottom part. Now it starts to look right. <laughs> so now these here are not rounder. They are more um, elongated. And they're done a little differently, but we will put that highlight there on the top. You want the, the values to where it goes from the burnt sienna up to the yellow. And then we're going to come back and put a little more uh, yellow in that. And then again, we'll be adding some darker color. Right in there. It gives it the depth that you're looking for. I'm just highlighting that part right there. You, you're looking down into it. The other two, you're looking to the side. So now we're going to put another layer of lighter colors. And as you add these layers, the petals get shorter. So they, that creates another layer of depth in your painting. Now we're going to put these little front guys in here, right in there, and they're looking right at you. So they're lighter, they're shorter. Just adding some other things up in here. 
to give it a little more depth looking so they're not flat. Okay, here comes these little front short petals and they are just very short. And they give it, a, it makes the flower sing. I mean, it just really, um, it almost looks too light, but as uh, acrylic paint dries, uh, it does get darker and duller. So here I'm gonna add some of that same color to kind of lighten up this one. Oh, did you see how that um, burnt sienna got drawn through there? I love that. I would never try to get that out. Um, to me, that is just the way nature looks. And I want as much nature in my artwork as humanly possible. <laughs> so there we have it, folks. If you're interested in something like this, uh, the Beginner's Painting Club this month, we painted sunflowers. And so while I was painting sunflowers, I decided to create this piece for my daughter. And you know, anything you learn as a beginning painter, you can use on all sorts of things. You have lots of options that things you can um, paint on. And um, every month in the Beginner's Painting Club, you get a whole new series of lessons. And this has been so much fun this month. And here's the final thing. Thank you so much for being here today.